Welcome to the Lawless Family Court video series designed to educate you and help you protect yourself from the racketeering that is our U.S. family court system today. This series explains the many things they are doing that are completely illegal to steamroll your rights, suck all of your assets into the pockets of lawyers, and generate money for the state in ways that you don't understand through backroom funding that's coming from our federal government. This video is going to talk about the lie that is we operate in the best interest of children. Statistically speaking, from all the social science research, this is clearly an outright lie. And anyone that tells you it isn't is either a liar or ignorant of the facts. Since 2000, at least the year 2000, we have known that sole custody is child abuse. Yet family courts in many states are generating 80 to 90 percent sole custody orders that drive up social pathologies in children 14,600 percent. It's simply a proven social science fact that sole custody is child abuse, and so sole custody is generally not in the best interest of children. These courts would have you believe that 80 or 90 percent of families have an unfit parent. And unfit means dangerous to that child. Of course, that's ridiculous to anyone with common sense to think that 85 percent of a family, or 85 percent of families rather, have someone that's dangerous to their children as a parent. In fact, hundreds of studies agree that sole custody is child abuse. The best book on this topic was written after 13 years of research doing a meta-study by Dr. Warren Farrell. I recommend all divorcing parents read it, even if you've been divorced many, many years. In the book, Basically, Dr. Farrell is the one, the first one to come out and come up with all the data from over 225 studies around the world. It's a meta-study, which is a study of all the studies, that the best interest of children is getting as close as possible to 50-50 custody and 50-50 time with both parents. Unless, of course, one of those parents is proven beyond doubt, well I shouldn't say beyond reasonable doubt, it's to a clear and convincing evidence standard to be dangerous to that child. Now interestingly, Hitler's book Mein Kampf states that if you tell the people that you're doing it for the children, you can get them to do anything. He also says that the bigger the lie and the more often it's repeated in propaganda, the easier it is to control the population. Our judicial system and family court system have now been doing that for about 50 years, little by little pushing the bar and making people think that what they're doing is legal and right and in the best interest of the children when it clearly isn't to anyone that looks. Unfortunately, people today are lied to as easily and controlled as easily as they were back in the 1940s and World War II. The tools used are just more subtle than guns and bombs and the Nazis. The tools are lawyers who lie, the media, and politicians who spread their lies to program people to believe what the family court is doing is legal when it is really totally unconstitutional. It would be a compliment to call these courts kangaroo courts because kangaroo courts pretend to follow the law and most of our United States family courts don't even pretend. They steamroll you and lie to you about their powers and what they can do. These courts would have you believe most parents are incompetent and cannot make decisions for their children and so they have to step in and allow the state to make those decisions. Of course this is absurd, but it gives them the power and billions, literally billions of dollars in federal funding every year if they pretend that they have the legal right to do that and ignore the U.S. Supreme Court and the Constitution. 
and all 50 states are doing this today. You'll see other videos on the abuse of the domestic violence laws and restraining orders, which similarly were created by federal funding and these courts chasing those monies. These are also encouraged by the federal government with payments for every restraining order issued under the Violence Against Women Act. Of course, we need protection for real violence. But in Massachusetts, virtually any lawyer will tell you that 80 to 90 percent of the restraining orders that are granted, there is no violence. They're illegal. And the judges, the phrase they use is, the judges give these out like candy. These are often used in divorce as well to do an end run around the Constitution. So, there's Scottish case law, Scottish being Supreme Court of the United States, an acronym, and you can get that case law by emailing info at divorceracket.org. For more information and alerts, send us an email and we will return a lot of information for you and send you alerts on other videos and series that we'll be publishing to help accelerate the demise of our family court system in the United States today, which is destroying the family, destroying our children, all for the profit of lawyers and government. Thank you and spread the word. I'll see you in the next video.